northbound construction does cause delays. It's in the right lane from the Summit County line all the way up to Rockside. Live from Metro Traffic Control, I'm Patty Harkin, News Channel 5. Good morning, Cleveland. Thanks, Patty. And in the news, as we said, he kept his corner store in an east side neighborhood long after many others pulled out. He extended credit to those who couldn't afford to pay. But it appears now that somebody went more, and they were willing to kill him to get it. As News Channel 5's Catherine Boyd tells us now, this morning, Essek Haywood is fighting for his life. Mr. Hayward's been running the Packwood Grocery longer than most of his clients have been alive. Even when the neighborhood started going downhill, Mr. Hayward stayed. Well, he kept, kept his store open for the neighborhoods around here. When things get bad, he, he still was there. You know? Lillian Patterson says she remembers going to Mr. Hayward's as a child. Now, she says, she takes her son. Mr. Hayward was your basic neighborhood store owner. It was, it's a mom and pop operation, but he's a pretty nice guy. I mean, he respects you. He helps you out when you're in trouble and things like that. He never bothers anybody. To many, Mr. Hayward was a role model. He was a father figure to me. I mean, because he, he was a self-made business person. Um, it was a time when this building caught on fire, and he's kind of worth, the worth ethic in him was like, he couldn't sit around waiting on somebody else to do the work. He saw, he, he, he built it back himself. But for others, Mr. Hayward was seen only as a means for quick cash. This morning, when he opened the store, a young man robbed him and then shot him in the stomach. Neighbors say Mr. Hayward's had a string of bad luck lately. Just Sunday, this home that he owned across from the store caught fire. One tenant died. The others lost everything. But now the entire neighborhood is praying they don't lose Mr. Hayward. For a man who's done so much for others, they don't want him to die because of someone else's greed. For Good Morning Cleveland, I'm Catherine Boyd. Hayward remains in serious condition this morning. Police say they're still searching for the gunman. He's described as a black male in his early 20s, about six feet tall. He was wearing a black shirt, blue jeans, a black ski mask with a red bandana. Witnesses say he was driving a dirty old gray Buick Century. If you have any information, please contact the Cleveland Police Department. Well, a group of teenagers playing basketball found suddenly, they suddenly found themselves in the middle of a fight and gunfire. The teens were playing at the Trent Playground when a group of men armed with bats, pipes, bottles, and guns approached. The teens say the group started a fight, then started shooting. You know, me and my little sister playing some ball. And then this Puerto Rican cast came up there, was talking some mess. And they said, no, they saw I shoot, and I got sound in the when I was running. Another teenager was also injured in that shooting. Both victims were told will be okay. The manager of a Taco Bell fast food restaurant had her first day in court yesterday. 20-year-old Lynette Fagan has been charged with murder. She's accused of stabbing 18-year-old Lily Kelly to death after an argument over the quality of food served at this Taco Bell. Fagan is being held on $75,000 bond. She's due back in court sometime later this month. Well, a group is offering a reward for information leading to Roxana Alleyman's killer. The Black on Black Crime Caucus is offering $500. Crime and murder is not a black thing. It's not a white thing. It's not a race thing. And uh, the death of Roxanne, the nurse on the west side, touches us as deeply as a black person on the east side. Uh, crime is crime. Murder is murder. We want the vicious animal that killed Roxanne, brought to justice. Well, the group will be passing out flyers like these today in the neighborhoods where Roxanne's body and car were found. If you have any information, call Crime Stoppers at 252-7463. They're offering, as we said, the $500 reward. Crime Stoppers will pay a reward of up to $2,000 for information in this case. Well, very young children are learning a valuable lesson, and they're taking what they learned to the streets. Local daycare teachers are trying to educate children early and reinforce the dangers of illegal drugs and guns. The young students marched side by side yesterday while chanting the destructive fate of drugs and violence. Perhaps someday we could get a message to all our children that you can't mix innocence with weapons and drugs.
It's a good message. Mm -hmm. And you have a good weather forecast. You know, I've been so caught up in Roseanne and Tom's <laughs> career that... Uh, I'll get off. No, you haven't, I've Mark. forgotten to feed myself for the past month. I haven't eaten any. Really? Yeah. Maybe Roseanne should do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, nice weekend headed our way. You've been waiting for that perfect springtime weekend. Well, for the most part, I think it's going to come. We've been watching high pressure over top of us for the past few days and keep us cool, but finally it's going to move on east and warm weather is on way. Let's take a look at uh, where the rain is. Guess what? Still south this morning across the Ohio Valley, stretching into the Tennessee Valley. A few showers and thunderstorms, but guess what? We're not going to be seeing any of that later on today or any time, probably until Sunday. So we may see some scattered showers during the weekend, but that'll be about it for rainfall. That's good news. All right, across the state of Ohio this morning, we generally have clear skies here. The clouds are hugging along the Ohio River, and they should stay down that way as no moisture will be moving across the northern portion of the state today. We're still going to cool, though. 36. We need some scattered frost. We are 36 also from Canton, Young 31. A little bit warmer down here. They've got 40s and upper, well, upper 40s, basically because, again, the clouds keep in the heat. So we don't let it escape into the atmosphere at night. Lake Park, one degree, finally, to 43. Just one day, it dropped to 42. You know, you must get some circulation in the lake, and it brings up a colder patch of water, just temporary. 36 at the airport, humidity 70 percent, barometer 30.21. The winds are northeasterly at 6 miles per hour this morning. They're not blowing real hard out there, so we'll have a wind chill to speak of. Okay, our satellite map looks like this. We've got... Uh, a weak weather disturbance across the middle Mississippi Valley, stretching all the way to the coast. There are those showers and some heavier thunderstorms blossomed yesterday across portions of Oklahoma, the Texas Panhandle, into Missouri and Arkansas. Dropped some heavy rain, even some hail down there, but nothing here. This is high pressure, keeping us clear. Not much of a change in the weather map uh, we've seen for the past week or so, but there will be a change as we see these clouds move our way, and that is a warm front that we'll be seeing over the weekend. Lots of sunshine today, still on the cool side, our high barely making it up into the mid-50s, northeast winds at 5 to 10, but tonight, clear and cold, winds northeast at 5 to 10, lows around 30 to 35 degrees. We'll see those winds shift around to the southwest by tomorrow morning, and that's what we want to see. Sunshine, high clouds tomorrow, it will be warmer with highs approaching 65 degrees. Okay. Here comes our extended five-day forecast. Look at Sunday. That, don't, don't get panicked about Sunday just yet. We're going to have a high close to 70 with some scattered showers, not a total washout. So Sunday should still be a decent day. Monday, better chance for showers and storms. Sunday night to Monday, that is our high 66. Tuesday still mid 60s with fair weather. So back into the warm weather pattern that we wanted to see for a while. Oh, no, I thought Jenny took this with her. No, nah, she didn't. you got to do weather school. Besides the popping of ears, a decrease in pressure can also affect A, the sinuses, B, the teeth, C, the joints, or D, all of these. We will tell you in one half an hour. Don't forget weather first, 9311212. And don't forget the tornado special Sunday night at 8 p.m. Set your VCRs. Tornado alert. You That's won't right. want to miss it. Some of the most spectacular video you have ever seen. Hosted by Don Webster, Brad Sussman, and myself. Some of that video I saw yesterday yeah. looked dramatic. Good stuff. But one other thing I saw this morning before we go uh -huh. made me feel great. What? At a filling station, there's a guy with a boat. He's filling up the boat. They're going perch fishing today. He's going to Florida, isn't he? No, he's <laughs> going over to the western part of Lake Erie. All right. Thanks, Mark. Sure. Coming up on Good Morning Cleveland, Richard Nixon is doing much worse this morning. We'll bring you the latest on his condition. And officials say the death of 17 bald eagles is no longer a mystery. We'll tell you about it. For a happy birthday or anniversary greeting, send your information to Good Morning Cleveland, 3001 Euclid Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio, 44115. This portion of Good Morning Cleveland is sponsored by Country Kitchen. The country's best comes from the kitchen. Something new is cooking in the kitchen. Three Oriental stir fries. Grilled chicken, a skillet full of tender vegetables. Oriental chicken. Very good. Marinated sirloin, mushrooms, green onions, and a Cantonese sauce. Beef and broccoli. Nice. A stirring combination of juicy pineapple, sweet peppers over breaded chicken tenderloin, sweet and sour chicken. New stir fries. Try them. The country's best comes from the kitchen. Country Kitchen. Adam Michelson is a parts distributor whose business often takes him away from home. 
To keep in touch with his family, this is a Meritech calling card. The card that lets you call from there to anywhere at any time. So no matter where he is, he calls home. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Daddy. Could you get Mommy? Jesse. Jesse. Mommy. The Emerit Coin Card and Complete Card. Now, a coast-to-coast -coast savings event that only comes once a year. Announcing the National Jeep Sale. Your Jeep and Eagle dealer. You can buy or lease Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo at special savings. Get $300 cash back when you buy or lease Jeep Wrangler. Or get special savings when you buy or lease Cherokee Sport with no charge air. So hurry in today, because while our vehicles know no limits, our sales do. See your superstar Jeep and Eagle dealer. Three short hours. 9 a.m. to noon. You'll find great selected sales. An extra 10% off the price. 9 a.m. to noon. Saturday only. Did you see Penny? Uh